we got to talk about Ethereum and the fact that a lot of Ethereum unstaking is going to begin. And you might have actually thought that Ethereum was actually going to unstake um, right after the Shanghai upgrade. That's not true because there is actually a huge queue uh, for Ethereum to actually unstake. And I think there's some people that might be thinking, okay, are people are people gonna sell out as they actually unstake? And why is there a huge queue line that's lasting 14 days for everyone to unstake? It's because Ethereum's not very efficient. So basically there are a bunch of validators waiting to exit the chain and they could be waiting for up to 14 days to get their crypto back. And right now only a thousand validators have actually been able to unstake, but there's 17,000 looking for full withdrawals and 285,000 for partial withdrawals. Uh, for reference, there are 567,000 validators on Ethereum, so about half of them are looking for at least partial withdrawals, and a small portion is looking for full withdrawals. So about 6-7% of those who want to do full withdrawals have been able to get full withdrawals right now, and less than 1% have been able to get partial withdrawals. So that's why there's a huge queue. And as people actually unstake and the validators unstake and withdraw their coins, they might actually be um, selling. And I think there will be some sell pressure, although I think that will easily be countered out, acted by buy pressure. So no, I don't think Ethereum is going to go for any kind of catastrophic dump. It might have a little bit of a dump, but not much. But um, because a lot of people are unstaking and because remember a lot of exchanges especially in the united states are unstaking like for instance kraken for instance coinbase they have to unstake because of regulations so people on um, though staking in those pools and for some of them who are actually trying to pull out right now they're going to have to find a new home and i think they're going to go to places like lido and rocket pool now lido dow price has actually pumped up 15 percent today and i do actually think there's a good chance it'll keep going up as more and more coins come into Lido as they unstake. So it, this actually might be a good opportunity for both Lido and Rocket Pool. Now, I, would I actually go in right now? I'm not sure if I would, because it's already pumped up 15%. And I don't like um, buying coins that are already pumped up so much. But I definitely think there is value there because there's gonna be a lot more coins coming in from these validators and these unstakers and from Coinbase and Kraken. And they're gonna be looking for a non-US based, uh, basically like, staker to actually go with and i do think like lido and rocket pool will actually answer the call lido dao is ldo I'm not exactly sure what rocket pool is they have a coin it might have some gains over the next two weeks because of all the people coming in and i think there's going to be a significant volume of coins that are going to restake to lido because their first option if it was coinbase or kraken isn't going to be there anymore and obviously everyone exiting they're going to have to look for a new option too um, so all, a lot of those unstaked coins, I don't believe they're actually going to be sold. I don't think the majority of the unstaked coins that are coming in the next two weeks are actually going to be sold. I do actually think they're going to go to like places like Lido and Rocket Pool. So I'm not really too fearful for Ethereum dumping, but I am actually thinking that these Ethereum related coins are going to maybe pop off even more than they have already. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.